Well, the American Hockey League is making changes to their COVID altered schedule after the Stockton Heat announced they will be staying in Calgary this season. The Heat was reportedly trying to work out clearance to play in Stockton when San Joaquin County health officials say they were notified by the team that they would be staying in Calgary with its parents club, parent club, to play their games in the AHL's newly formed Canadian division. The league is now reworking their schedule. And joining us live to talk more about this move and other moves in Condors Town, President Matthew Riley joining us live. Thanks for being here, Matt. Well, yeah, thanks for having me. I know we're kind of surrounded by snow. Uh, and there's ice here at the arena, so we're, we're ready to roll. <laughs> talk about a little bit. Were you surprised by Stockton's move? Because the talk had been there for a while now. Yeah, we'd, we'd heard some things. Uh, you know, we're, we're trying to get our own uh, uh, ducks in a row, if you will. And there's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, regulations and protocols with COVID testing and so forth. And, and knew something was going on up there. But uh yeah, I was kind of surprised they're gonna they're gonna play in Canada and Calgary. Uh, we're glad we're playing here, and and everything else is intact in our division. So we got to rework the schedule a little bit, but we're still gonna play forty games, twenty at home, twenty on the road. We mm -hmm. just won't be in Stockton. Now you, there was a talk at one point that even uh, the possibility of the Condors even staying in Edmonton. Did that ever get past maybe sort of the idea phase? No, it was just some conjecture that was thrown out there mm -hmm. from some media folks. It was never seriously considered uh, on, on our end. Uh, uh, and we're glad that the ice is in. That The guys are on the ice actually right now uh, next door. I tried to do the interview from the, in the arena, but it was a little <laughs> loud. So uh, I came back into the office. But uh, we've got everything rolling here in Condors Town. You know, the last game you played, ironically, it was against Stockton on the home ice uh, last March right now. We, I think we have some video from that game that we're going to go ahead and show uh, that it's just kind of ironic that now they're stepping away and you won't get a chance to play them. Does the AHL give you any idea of how they might rework the schedule to give you those eight games back? Yeah, it's going to be within the teams in our division. We've, we're already starting to work on it. So, yeah, we were supposed to play Stockton down here Friday night for a preseason game. And, and had to move quickly to replace that. Now we've got San Diego coming in on uh, on Sunday. And, uh, you know, roll with the punches. I mean, it's the COVID times. Like you said, we haven't played since March 7th. Uh, we're just happy to be back on the ice uh, about 11 months later, and we're going to make it go. You know, and trying to stay, uh, keep everything safe. I was looking at some of the protocols involving the media coming through the back door of the arena in order to come in. But you're also keeping the team and your front office completely separated. Is that right? Yeah, without a doubt. I was just over in the arena, but certainly had a mask on. I'm staying off event level. Uh, so they're kind of in their bubble as much as they can be. And uh, certainly, you know, we, the, the games need to go on and the show must go on and, and the, the safety uh, of the players and everybody involved is first and foremost. You know, I know that you have no direct, obviously, command over when people might come back into the arena, but do you and your own observations for everything that's going on think there might be a chance that fans can in some capacity see the game live sometime this year yeah we're definitely thinking there's a chance i mean the the vaccines are coming out the the numbers are going down a little bit restaurants are, are now open and outdoor dining so you know we've still got a lot of ways to go but things are moving in the right direction so mm -hmm. we're holding out hope that at some point this season we can invite fans in the arena Matt Riley, best of luck. San Diego coming in on Sunday for a little preseason action. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.